This is what my mom refers to as the scariest moment of her life. It happened six years ago when I was 12. My parents had just gotten a divorce and mom started taking night classes to finish her broadcast journalism degree. Usually on those nights, she would have a babysitter come and watch me and my six-year-old brother Wyatt. But on this particular evening, my babysitter had to cancel at the last minute. That immediately put a damper on my night because it meant I couldn't stay up watching the Vampire Diaries with her. Relevant fact, I was infatuated with Ian Summerholder. I loved everything about the Vampire Diaries, but I particularly loved Ian. The two of us would binge watch our crushes until my mom pulled into the driveway and I would sneak into bed. But tonight, I was stuck tagging along with my mother and I wasn't happy about it. My mom started by showing us the radio booth where she would be doing her show. Admittedly, it was pretty cool. It had a soundboard, a bunch of microphones, and a schedule on the door that had my mom's name and the title of her show. Next, she took us down to the lobby. It was surrounded by display cases filled with bones and fossils. I remember looking up and seeing a woman watching us from the second floor. She was staring at me and I was a little weirded out by her as my mom explained the rules. Don't make noise, don't talk to anyone, and don't do anything other than sit at the table and watch movies on our devices. She said she'd come back and check on us after her first break, and then she rushed down the hall back towards the radio booth. By then, I really only cared about one thing, getting on the Wi-Fi and loading up an episode of The Vampire Diaries. My brother, however, wasn't as content. He quickly got bored and kept running around the lobby, touching everything. I tried to get him to sit down and watch a show on his iPad, but like usual, he wouldn't listen to me. Instead, he kept trying to get me to come look at a dinosaur skull, but I had more important things to focus my attention on. At one point, I heard him talking to someone and called out for him to come back. He ran up to me, brimming with excitement. He said mom sent her friend to watch us and that she had a brand new kitten in her car. I glanced up and saw a vaguely familiar looking woman staring back at me. She asked if I was Catherine's daughter and said I must be because I looked so much like her. She walked up closer and asked if I wanted to see the kitten too. But I had zero interest in doing that. I was almost to the end of an episode and I would be starting another one as soon as it was over. She started to walk off with my little brother and I heard him tell her that he had to go to the bathroom. She tried to convince him to wait until after seeing the kitten, but he said he had to go number two and that he had to go now. She agreed to take him to the bathroom and wait for him outside. They went down the hall and I went back to my show. A few minutes passed and I heard a loud noise in the stairwell that sounded like a door slamming. I looked up and was suddenly aware that I was completely alone. My heart started racing. I was freaked out by all the weird skeletons and fossils, so I stood up and left everything behind to go get my mom. I rushed over to the radio booth where my mom was still on air. She looked over and mouthed to me, Where is your brother? I shrugged and from my expression, she could tell that something was wrong. She rushed out of the booth and I told her that Wyatt went with her friend that she had sent to watch us. At that moment, I saw a look in my mother's eyes that I will never forget. She was genuinely terrified. She took off, running down the hall, yelling Wyatt's name. She swung open the boy's bathroom door, but he wasn't inside. Then she headed to the front door and I rushed after her. She burst out into the parking lot and looked around. About a hundred feet away, my little brother was getting pulled into the back of an SUV. My mother screamed out his name. Realizing that something was wrong, Wyatt bit the woman's hand and she let go of him. Wyatt ran over and my mom wrapped him up in her arms and cried. The security footage showed the woman was the same one that I saw watching us earlier. She got my mom's name off of the show schedule and then she used that information to sell her lie. 
I can only imagine what would have happened if I had gone with them. It's entirely possible that my infatuation with Ian Summerholder ended up saving both our lives. Welcome back to the Dark Echo Studio. I hope you enjoy that episode, and I'd like to start off by pointing out that the crazy woman in the actual event was much older than the woman that we had as the actress. Which makes me wonder, was that a crime of opportunity, or was that woman actually looking to snatch up a kid? I'd love to hear your thoughts. Go ahead and put in the comments, and remember, you're never alone, even when you think you are.